Morning everybody, what's going on? KSA Chris here, the Real Estate Blitz. Wanted to do a quick one because it's something that's been on my mind. Um, self-doubt. I think we all deal with self-doubt in one fashion or another. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think, it, it almost doesn't matter how much success you find. I think everybody has self-doubt. I talk to friends of mine who are, you know, easily making a million dollars a year in real estate and they still have self-doubt. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's important to talk about what that means, how to combat it, and I think there's different variations and forms of it. First off, in my opinion, self-doubt is almost like alcoholism. It's almost like a disease. You know, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if, if you stop drinking, you know, if you're an alcoholic, you're always going, there's always going to be that opportunity, and I think that's the key. And, and self-doubt, it's almost like an alcoholism. Even if you're really doing extremely well and you're doing all the things you should be doing to, ins to ensure that you don't have self-doubt, to ensure that you aren't dragging yourself down or questioning if you're doing the right thing, it always is there and it ha you have the opportunity to get self-doubt and actually start losing. Um, so I wanna talk about how to combat that, or w at least what I do uh, to combat it and what I've learned from talking to other people that have, you know, we've had these conversations. First off, I think action is the middle finger to self-doubt. Action is absolutely the middle finger to self-doubt. I think um, just taking action in your business, taking action in your life, if there's shortfalls and you're sitting there like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just never gonna do this. Well, do more, just, just do it, just keep doing more. Um, you know, whether it's your diet or anything else, like I say over and over and over, it's, it's good action consistently over an extended period of time. You just have to have patience and keep doing it. And if it's not enough, do it twice as much, right? So action is the middle finger to self-doubt. I think the second thing to uh, go after self-doubt is, is really going after mental things that can help you, right? So um, every morning, and I don't like it, I, I, I debate about it. Every morning um, I wake up, I listen to a podcast. Um, I either listen to something that's going to be positive, that's going to make me feel good, or I'm gonna to listen to something on the business. Then I sit down and I do three videos through Blitz University, which is with Grant Cardone, and I, I learn about sales. I'm gonna sit down and focus on something that's gonna deal with sales, uh, somewhere where I might have a shortfall, whether it's follow-up, whether it's, uh, you know, Gosh, everything's on there. Cold calling, you know. So I'm doing a lot of stuff right now with cold calling. So I'm I'm gonna listen and watch everything there. But a lot of it is just it's depositing. First thing in the morning when I wake up, I start depositing positive energy into the bank account. The reason why I talked to a, a lady last night. She uh, actually cleans my house. She has she has cleaned my house. The last two homes that I've owned. When we moved, I didn't think there was any way she would drive to where we live now, and she does every Tuesday. She shows up. And, you know, I saw something was bothering her, so I started talking to her. And she's like, you know, Chris, I work so hard. And all I want is to pay off my house. I want to make a certain amount of money every month. And I just feel like all of my friends keep telling me, you know, you should just sell your house and, and, and get a smaller place. You should just move into a mobile home. You know, why do you need everything? Why do you want everything? Just really negative people. And she's like, you know, I am trying to build a business. I deeply believe in what I'm doing. And it's almost like I'm being criticized for it by my friends and family. And I did a video on friends and family once before, but so I'm not going to go too deep in that. But, you know, she even had self-doubt. And she's like, you know, I just question. I question all the time. Am I doing the right thing? And I just keep doing it. And I asked her, I says, what are you reading? What are you listening to? Who are you around? Those are the like the three key things. What are you listening to? What are you reading? And who are you around? She says, well, I read the Bible. I says, it's a great start. What else are you reading? Well, nothing. Okay, so you're not reading anything positive. No. Are you listening to anything? No. Are you associating? Are you, you know, at, at treating it like a meet me or beat me mentality? You're, you're at my level or above me. Are you hanging out with other entrepreneurs? Are you, are, you, are you spending time with other people that have been through your struggles or are struggling as well and trying to build something together so you can give each other energy? No. Energy is like, like I said, a bank account, right? The world is always trying to withdraw money. They're always trying, to, the world's trying to take money from you. It's always in there trying to, trying to stick its hands in your pocket. If you're not depositing positive energy, if you're not depositing 
winning. If you're not depositing something that's, that's, that's going to help you progress, you will go bankrupt. Doubt starts creeping in as you start losing capital in that account. That's how it works. Doubt will start creeping in once you start losing and you're going downhill on, on, on your, your funds that you have available for your total energy. So again, things you need to do or things I do. I can't tell you what to do. You, you, you can do whatever you want to do. What I do, I listen. Right away, first thing in the morning, I'm either listening, I'm listening to something. I read. I read every day. I'm reading either positive books. Most of the time I'm reading business books. Most of the time I'm, uh, most of the time I'm reading stuff that I want to know that I don't know um, because there's nothing new under the sun. So I'm always trying to explore and experiment and get into newer things that I'm very curious about that I think would do better in my business. And then, uh, you know, I, I associate. I spend a lot of time. I'm actually getting ready to get out of here to go spend some time this morning with somebody. I spend a lot of time with other entrepreneurs, other people that are doing it. They're either at my level or above me. I don't hang out with Betty. And if you've heard about Betty, or if you haven't heard about Betty, she's on other videos. I don't hang out with Betty. Betty is that person that you know says they're an entrepreneur. It says that they're building their own business, but they aren't doing nothing. They aren't doing nothing. So I get around winners. Again, action is the middle finger to self-doubt. You need to read, listen, and associate in order to continue to deposit positive energy into your account because the world is always trying to bankrupt you. That's all I got today. Um, I, you know, I, I, I thought this was a good one just because, like literally yesterday, I'm sitting there and I started having some self-doubt. So here it is. I'm, I'm trying this new idea. I told somebody, Jose, if you're watching this, Jose in Florida, uh, he call, call, or I called him. He's been hitting me up on Facebook. I called him and we talked about his business and what he's doing and, and the broker that he's with and, you know, wanting to change brokers and build a team. And uh, beautiful family he sent me some photos of his family. And I thought that was just the coolest. And I told him, I'm trying to build this idea. So I built a team, built a mega team, uh, ended up building a brokerage. So we just officially turned into a brokerage. And I decided, because people were asking me, and actually some people even pointed their finger at me, and they said, well, it's easy for you to say these things because you've already done it. I was like, all right, well, cool, I'll take your challenge. So I decided that, and I'll probably do a separate video just on this, um, I, I'm going to continue to run the brokerage or, or you know, help build the brokerage. I'm going to continue to run and build the other businesses that I own, but I'm going to completely strip completely down and be an agent, with little to no money, and I'm just gonna be a real estate agent, and I'm going to, and I've already been taking notes, I've been writing them down, I have this goofy black box over here. Uh, what I'm doing, and what I did, in order to build a business from scratch, brand new, little to no money, I think I'm spending like 200 or 300 bucks a month right now, um, what I'm doing to build a business and build a team, my goal, uh, off of this one little adventure is to make five hundred thousand dollars next year um, and you know build a team that's to include administrators marketing manager uh, agents you know team and I started having some self-doubt now here it is I started last week and I already have three listings and I have five more appointments that I've already scheduled I started last week and today is uh, so it's been about a, a week and a half. It's been a week and a half since I started this thing. And I have three listings and five appointments, right? Um, and I was like, well, you know, uh, what if it doesn't work? And, 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 and it just like, it creeped in. It was just there. And it's funny because it's been so long since I had self-doubt just because people were right. I, I have been doing this for a minute and I've had pretty good success. And I think once you have success, it just kind of the momentum helps you. It makes it easier. Um, but it crept in and I mean, I, I immediately when I caught it and I'm like, dude, shut up. Like, that's what I basically told myself, shut up. You, you're an idiot. Cut it out because I knew what it was. So I just told myself to cut it out. Eventually you want to get to the point to where you can realize that it's coming. Like, oh man, I want to go, man, all I want to do is get a beer. I just, you know, if I just have one beer, realize that that's the, that's that addiction. Self-doubt is an addiction. Self-doubt is an addiction. 
And I'm telling you, I feel like we were raised this way. It was almost like a broken situation with our family and how they raised us to where doubting ourselves is an addiction. It's like it's always there. And if you allow it to take over, it will ruin you. So anyways, I, I, I'll keep on going with this if, I, if I'm left to my own devices, but I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. I'm already over. Um, do me a favor, like, share, comment. If you like what I'm saying, you know, comment. I love, I, I try to reply back to everybody as fast as I can, like immediately if I can. Um, I love the comments. I really appreciate it because even when I was building the Real Estate Blitz, I had a ton of self-doubt. I'm like, who's going to want to watch this? You know, is this really going to help anybody? Is this, is this too big of a mission that I'm on? Um, you know, are people going to think I'm trying to be a, become a coach, which I'm not? Um, you know, will people criticize me? And I, I just keep doing it. I basically tell myself every day, shut up, just do your videos. You know, you know you're helping people. You're going to help somebody. And you know how I know I'm helping people? Because people leave me comments. So do me a favor, leave me a comment. Um, go check me out on YouTube. Check me out on Facebook. And uh, launching January 3rd officially, Blitz University will start. That's something I built with the team over at Grant Cardone. And it's, it's like in-depth sales training. There's sales training on there for years. I've actually been using it every day probably the last three months to test it. Um, and it's, it's pretty magical. Uh, I'll probably start doing some walkthrough videos here pretty soon. I'm going to be giving it out at cost. I'm not making a dollar off of this. Um, ideally, what I'm looking to do is uh, I'm going to have lenders actually buy and pay for it. So agents can learn and grow for free instead of paying a, a, uh, a coach. You know, it's an opportunity to do coaching at your own pace, self-paced coaching with Grant Cardone, the, the best sales salesman in the nation, you know, in my opinion, it's the best salesman in the world. Um, but it's something that, that I pitched to them multiple times before they said yes. And I told them, I says, I just want to find a way to help this industry and I can't pay a thousand dollars per month per seat. You know, they charge a thousand dollars per month per person through Cardone University, unless you get like one of their specials. Um, I'm going to be getting it out there, I think at a hundred dollars per seat. Uh, so I want to try to find a way to make lenders pay for that. So if you're watching this and you're interested in doing that, you can even have your lender reach out to me because I'm not, I'm, it's a media business and it's a product. Um, lenders can absolutely buy any product that they want. Anyways, that's all I got. Appreciate y'all. Do me a favor, like, share, comment, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.